Hornby Railway's 29th edition 1983 catalogue, OO scale. I was quite scathing of the 1982 catalogue, so we're going to have a look now through the 1983 catalogue and see if it's any better. I mean, that's a, that's a pretty interesting looking layout. I find it difficult to read the white text on the black background there because it's quite quite thin I don't know what the font is but it's not nice um, not sure I've actually looked through this one pro oh my word why is that that's a toy that's totally toy that looks a toy you right so you're opening up straight onto something that looks like toys okay even that which isn't one of the the toy sort of clockwork ones looks really toy like the colors overly saturated and very very plasticky let's have a look all my train sets fun for the whole family really really i think it's a lads and dads thing to be honest you know not being sexist or anything but you know girls are far too sensible look at that the old uh, filters on there and cutting edge so the track packs now that that looks okay this is the first page i haven't hated um nicely laid out you know it's quite quite descriptive so it's showing you trains and bits of track and buildings and accessories and bits of packaging and track plans and controllers but it's showing you it all in a way that you can imagine it oh my word this is very modern, very cutting edge here. Look at that. Nice use of line drawings there. Oh, no, very heavy, very heavy. There's far too many pictures crammed into that. And mm, what is with the red? Yeah, I'll say it's a sad ice in the window. No, oh, my word. Now there's a nice bit of photography. This is quite nice. It's quite attractive. That makes you go, ooh, as a kid. Some detail bits. That's quite nice. Oh yes. Yes. These product shots are nice. These are nice. Now, let's have a look here. What have we got here? 14010. This is a weird looking thing. The latest addition to the Select Classic Limited Edition series, the LMS X Caledonian 422 Class 1P Locomotive number 14010, never before produced in this delivery, the Class 1P will have a limited production run of 5,000. It's very limited. <laughs> and in keeping with the others in this series, Hornby guarantee that it will not be produced again for at least five years. Truly a collector's and enthusiast's item. Now, I'd never, never seen this until I looked through this catalogue the other day. I've never found it. It's never popped up on my eBay searches. Um, so I had a look. There's a few on eBay at the moment. I just bought one. Uh, 65 quid delivered. All boxed and everything. So I'll run it a bit, film it a bit. But I uh, don't know whether it'll get general use. It's a bit, it's a bit of an ugly thing, isn't it? A weird looker. So yeah, it's from, in 1886, Nielsen Gear, strongly influenced by Dougal Drummond, Drummond produced the... Oh, Read all that. It's just, sorry, it's really difficult to read on that. What else we got? We've got Duke of Sutherland. We've got Hagley Hall. Spitfire. Cheshire. Nice, but oh, the, this red tightening with this red sort of like bordering really is horrible. These are not nice pages to look at. They they really don't work. Now that's nice. That's a nice bit of photography there. Nice bit of panning to get the get the zoomed action to get the feeling of speed. I like that. Now that's that's really quite good. Don't know how well it's going to come out. Um, there you go. It's really nicely done. I mean, more of it should be like that. Really, um, they've gone for the speed thing there. Is that, is that a, Clerestory coach, so called because of the raised center section of the roof. Okay, that was originally for oil lamps. Okay, I, w I was wondering what, what that meant. So the coaches, the coaches, the coaches. Oh, 
Somebody's obviously had that on the wall, the old centre spread. Look at that, Hornby wagons. Oh, look, you can put stuff in. You can raid Mum's kitchen. You can get some rice and some sugar and some stuff from the cat litter tray. Look at that. All good. Here we go. How the bogeys are put together, or the brake van chassis in this case. Easier hand and coupling. Right. So here's your wagons. They've got they've gone for the same kind of I feel as they had in the um, 1982 catalogue as well here. This is interesting. See, this I think is still supplied now. It's die cast metal. It goes way back, way back to the early days. They're actually really good. Um, doing them in metal is really nice. Okay, planning your layout. Look at that. Really good. Little track stencils. Citing your layout. Track planning symbols, they're called. Look at that. That's uh, it's a multi level one. So he's got cork round the side as cliffs, round the side of Central Oval, and the viaduct, and a bridge, and so on. It's actually quite small on the catalogue, but that's quite nice actually having that going round the bottom. Of course, geographically, you wouldn't wouldn't see anything particularly similar to that in real life. But it's reminding me actually of uh, Istanbul and walking round the um, road around the bottom near Topkapi Palace. So yeah, wall mounted layout. Now this this I like. I like that. I like that idea. I couldn't do it. Absolutely no way that I could manufacture anything like that. But um, I do like the idea. Maybe I should ask my dad to help me once all this coronavirus is done with. All my accessories. Here we go. Look at that. Nice pages. General techniques for constructing a layout. Get your drill and your hammer and your saw and your paintbrush. Scenic techniques, see that's handy. So as a kid, you're gonna sit there and you're gonna to refer to it again and again. And I think they probably realized this because if you put stuff like that, that's that's gonna inspire kids, they're gonna keep picking up the catalog. They're gonna keep Hornby in mind. And when it comes to Christmas and birthdays, that's what they're gonna ask for. Now, station sets and accessories. So now we've got pictures of the actual models instead of the artist impressions that you had for the 1982 catalog. So they've gone for this, I can't focus close enough. They're all quite small on these. There you go, there's the artist impression. And there's the photographic reality. Yeah, of the new stonework. Just, Oh, the Hornby High Street series. No layout can really be called a model railway until it contains a town or a village. Really? Okay. Coffee bar. Mm-hmm. Maples Greengrocers. That looks to me like a very American building. There's your, there's your street. A corner coffee bar, someone on a Vespa. A model shop. Hey, <laughs> brilliant. Look at those hoods. Those hoods, cheap hoods, gone with the wind. Clark Gable, Vivian Lee. John's Autos, used cars. Geeson and Pickles. Uh, so that's your Geeson and Pickles hardware shop. And your Ritz Cinema. John's Autos, used cars. Can't say I've ever seen any of those. I'll have to have a look on eBay now. now that's a nice, nice photograph on the back. Your Hornby Railway dealer is Beatties of London Limited, 3 Mount Street, Nottingham, NG16JW. That is your 1983 catalogue. Mm. 